Okay, um, issues on people I used to follow, guys like Hank Hanegraaff and um, whether it be Christian Radio, Bot Radio Network, they had a lot of them, R.C. Sproul, um, man, it goes on, list. That's some of the, mine I really, really trusted and followed when I listen to Christian Radio every day, every day. And here we come, uh, uh, the other guy. What's his name? Y'all know the. It's all work salvation to the to the point of it, or God uh, gives you the ability to believe the Calvinism, Calvinism, right? The big granddaddy. But I thought R. C. Spro was actually big granddaddy. I was uh, actually. I go back as far as uh, 1980. I saw Kenneth Hagen, Senior preach man I was in Rama Bible College if y'all don't know what that is you don't want to know that's how far I was in Tulsa Oklahoma following that stuff when Kenneth Kelplin was just starting to cut his teeth he was just starting to cut his teeth you know here comes uh, Price and you know also I lived in the uh, Tulsa Oklahoma was filled with that also with uh, Robert uh, Tilton Robert the, the big one, I can't even think of it. I'm, I'm glad I can forget it because I don't want to remember it no more, honestly. I mean, that's in the 80s for me. That's where I grew up. But I loved the Lord all through that. I loved. I knew something was wrong with it. My daddy would tell me, I'd get up, man, and said, son, you can't, put, you can't put a cap on God and say it's like that. You know, you can't put God in a box. You know what? My dad was right. I remember sitting down, I was uh, 21 years old. We shared some whiskey together. We are in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma at that time. But Tulsa's right, right there, you know, walking distance. My dad's sitting there going like, all right, son, this is God. You can't get around him, you can't go around him, you can't get in front of him, you can't go around. This is, his, this is who God is. I remember sharing whiskey with him. Said, son, you can't put God in box. You can try to beat this thing down. He put his fist up. I got it. I understood. I mean, it took me years to understand what he's talking about. That he's unchanging is what he's saying. God is unchanging. His grace. <clears throat> Said, son, God loves you. He ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. He ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. My dad had a way of. Uh, he's still around, actually, but. Uh, but I thought it was uh, very cool at the time, you know. You're talking about God and stuff. His friends almost hated him talking about it because most of his friends were into, um, you know, the Illuminati or what, whatever that thing was with the God sign with the triangle thing. You know, he had a ring, one of his friends. He ended up, I think, hitting one of them one night. I was in bed by the time he knocked him out. <laughs> Sent him on his way. My dad did not. My dad don't play around when it comes to Christ. He knows what that it, that means. But he he uh, he's a big part of getting me out of that because I started listening to what he said. But anyway, with the Bible teachers online and you know um, self help stuff like some of these guys coming out this false doctrine of it's all about bettering yourself, guys. This is part of the. Uh, Prepare, preparation for the Antichrist, really. It really is. Um, and a lot of Christians are going to be taken unawares. They're thinking that, and a lot of people listen to Christian radio. I mean, if you're not listen, if you listen, there's only maybe a few I've ever listened to that I knew that were, and, and still this, I just turn it off anymore. You got Paul Stanley, he's okay. You got our um, Vernon McGee. Vernon McGee, Paul Stanley, that's about it. Maybe one other, I don't know. I don't know about the rest of them, but they all like, they're into this big church thing, you know, got it, you know, send me money. You know, even though they're they're not like, like Kenneth Copeland, send me money to get a big jet plane or a Creflo dollar, bring me some money. I want your money. Give me some candy. I want your candy. You know, 
All those guys, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it cracks, it's almost like a comedy show sometime now when I look at it, but man, it's not funny. It's really, they're, they're setting up the Antichrist system. And, and the, a lot of the, even Trump, I mean, I love Trump as a president, but he's kind of involved with that. So you gotta watch it, guys. We got a good president, but following Trump, he ain't the answer. You know, he is not your answer. Although I like him as a president, but guys, be careful, be careful, be careful. You know, I voted for him, but you know, all I'm saying is just be careful, man. Who you believe, who 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 you who you listen to. I mean, I was a victim of, you know, the the radio shows. You get on YouTube, you can man before you know it, you're getting itching ears. Where I watch YouTube. Even if I'm telling you something, man, look, check me by scripture. I might be wrong, brother. I'm just telling you. Don't believe everything I say either. You got the Holy Spirit. If you trust on Christ and what he did and plus nothing else, you got the Holy Spirit. That's a big deal right there. That alone, what you did when you put your trust all on Christ, not for what you can do for yourself, but what he did for you that your sins are totally annihilated, forgiven once for all, you made a great giant step. But guess what? You got a target on your back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, well, don't whine about it. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. You know, you're God's now. You're, you're God's child. But guess what? They're going to hate you, man. They're going to hate you for this. I ain't got many. My friends deal with me because I got a lot of talent. They want to be around me because I can play the piano, and a lot of you guys ain't got that. And I, I take that for granted sometimes. And I, I, I'm just saying, um, I'm responsible for it. I'm responsible for the talent I have, how I use it. They bear up with me. They bear with me because of that. But some people ain't got that. They just are. Uh, they're just shunned. And I pray for you guys. And please, uh, uh, I'll be glad to pray for you anytime I can. I can. I need prayer. I'm. I'm no one special. I'm just another man and uh, daughter of God like you are. But I understand. I understand. The pressure is real. The attack on the mental is real. But you got to put on that soul structure, man. Get your mind set, set on the things of God, whose mind is set on me. The Bible says. Set your mind on the things and the promises of God. They're yea and yea and amen. He's got your back. So remind yourself of who you are in Christ. It's the most important thing. Grow in grace. Grow, and I say again, grow in grace. The riches of glory in Christ Jesus. He's rich and wants to make you, it's not about riches in this world. It's about something here that's greater we look beyond this world we got riches riches greater than you can ever imagine set your sight and seek ye first the kingdom of God the Bible says and it's true guys seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you not meaning the things of this world I mean bit getting closer getting closer to the the creator that's what the riches are. He is your reward, and it's worth it. I hope that made some sense, but yeah, some of these guys I listen to on radio, that's, boy, thank you, Lord, you got me out of way, way out of that. All, most of it's just lordship, lordship salvation. You can't listen to the radio anymore. You can't hardly go to a church either. Not really. Anyway, I love you guys love to hear hear from you I, I need your prayers and i'm praying for you and hey man we're in this thing together no man's a uh, island right i'm no island i need you i need you we're not islands unto ourselves this might be the only church we have but we got to be sound in doctrine we got to be sound in doctrine amen amen god bless you guys amen